Hi, I'm Ray Pastor, and the following video is going to talk about some of the reasons why you want to develop, uh, really when you want to develop for the mobile device. Um, one thing I'm seeing and hearing more and more is people are saying, you know, we need to develop using this software or X software. Usually it's Flash versus HTML5. We can't use Flash because we need to put this training on the mobile device. And I say to myself, or I really want to ask them, um, are you also developing this for the PC? Why are you developing this for the mobile device? Um, are you simply developing this for the mobile device just so that someone can view it on a mobile device, even though it's really designed for the PC? Um, if so, I generally say you probably shouldn't be doing that. Pick one or the other. Um, the reason is, first of all, you look at these two devices. PC, standard 15-inch monitor, um, not even that big, 15-inch. A lot of people have 17, I'd say 13 to 15 is average. Versus my phone. Look at this difference in size. Something is, that is meant to be designed on this PC is not meant to be designed well on this mobile device. Look at the size difference. And this device is about an inch bigger than an iPhone. This is about almost five inches, four and a half, four point six five inches versus the iPhone. Um, so I say to myself, why are you doing this? Why are you developing for both of these devices? Um, the reason is um, the same type of training that I developed for a PC is not the same type of training I want to develop for the mobile device. Um, they are significantly different. Um, when developing training, I look at my instructional objectives and my instructional strategies based on my learner analysis, um, my needs analysis, my front end analysis. And uh, essentially, the same learning objectives and instructional strategies aren't going to work on both of these devices. The reason why size, uh, usability, data, web issues, um, software compatibility, browser issues, there are so many issues that I could just go through on why you shouldn't want to do this. Um, and it's actually tricking or being a problematic for developers um, who are developing for both devices. Because um, there are certain things I can probably do in a PC training that I cannot do on a mobile device. Um, the next question is, well, what are you using the mobile device for? Are people, are you designing this so that someone can sit in their office and look at their training on their mobile device? Because if you are, that's not what this is designed for. If I'm sitting in my office, even when I'm at home, the last thing I'm looking on the internet or anything using is my mobile device. Why would I use this little screen when I can use my laptop? It's just as portable in my house or in my office. Um, I care about the big screen size. Um, so essentially, what I'm saying is that the reason I would really design training for this device is when I'm out in the field um, on the go. For instance, um, one of my students last semester designed training where she um, took people on a tour through a national park and as you were in different parts of the park you could look on your phone and see, learn a little bit of information um, on the go, out in the field, on the job, places where a laptop isn't. That is when you use the mobile device. That's when you use mobile training. If you're using mobile training for the sake of using it and you're designing something for the PC and the mobile device using the same learning objectives and instructional strategies, you are cutting corners somewhere. Depends where it is. It's quality somewhere, though. You are cutting corners. The same instruction is not meant to be. The same instruction does not look good on this. Um, you can't put the same amount of text on this device. I would need to zoom. And I'll tell you what, me personally, just trying to read on this device, if I'm looking at this device for more than five minutes, I probably am going to stop looking. Um, I can't go through an hour of computer-based training on this device. You just can't go through the same stuff. These devices are different. Um, so I guess the point of this is that you shouldn't be looking for a solution that covers both PC and mobile devices. You should be saying to yourself, why do I need to develop this on the mobile device? What are my objectives and instructional strategies for the mobile device? Then. Why do I develop this on the PC? What are my objectives and instructional strategies for that? Because they are going to be two separate things. You need to remember that when developing instruction. And it's, there are many other issues such as HTML5 versus Flash and all kinds of stuff. I'm not getting into that in this video. I just want to bring up the point of, you know, when you want to do it and why you want to do it. But remember, if you're developing something and you're developing the same thing for the mobile device and the PC, you are cutting quality somewhere. Thank you.